In our previous video, we talked about an introduction to the classification of living organisms, where we talk about the biological contribution of Aristotle, and also we talk about the modern classification of living organisms under the work of Carolus Linnaeus. And in today's video, we will discuss the binomial system of nomenclatures, that is, naming of living organisms. So, without being said, let's get started. Binomial nomenclature of living organisms, that is naming organisms. Firstly, we are familiar with common naming of living organisms. For example, male, maize, elephant, human being, and cat, etc. Biological nomenclature is based on biological system proposed by Swedish naturalist Carolus Linnaeus. In this system, organism is given name consists of two words. The first one is general or generic or genus name is the force of the genus to which organism is belongs to. The second one is species or specific name. Is the second name of the species in which it belongs to. You have to take note of these two. For naming of plants is governed by International Court of Botanical Nomenclature, ICBN. For naming of animals is governed by International Court of Zoological Nomenclature, ICZN. Also you need to take note of this. Rules for naming binomial system of nomenclature. Generic name must start with uppercase letter. Species name must start with lowercase letter. You have to take note of also these. Both names are written in italic when printed. Both names are written in italic when printed and underlined when typing or handwriting. So you have to take note about these three rules. Generic name start with uppercase letter. Uppercase letter. Species name must start with lowercase letter. Both names are written in italic when printed and underlined when typing or you are a handwriting when you are handwriting with your book so this is the point of you have to consider but let me give you some typical example of some common like lizard and maize human being and african alpha alpha elephants under maize when printed z maize is the name of the mess normal mess as you can see here z is a generic name start with upper case letter and mess is the species name and when typing Z mess, we have to underline them. Don't forget, Z must start with um, of our case letter. And the second one is Agama Lisa, that is Lisa. Agama is a generic name, start with capital letter. And Lizard is a species name. Then the next one is Homo sepen, that is human being. Homo is a generic name, sepen is a species name. And also the next one is African elephant, Lexandota Africana. So you have to take note of this. Now we will talk about example of biological nomenclature of some living organisms. For example, human being, that is Homo sapiens, they belong to the first kingdom, that is kingdom Animalia, and which is all animals. And under phylum, they are Chodata, animal with notochord, and they have a soft phylum. This is Batibra, which means animal with backbone. Under class, they belong to Mammalian. Mammalian. These are animals with hair and milk glands. Under order, they belong to primates. Primates are mammals with grasping and hands and feet. With grasping hands and feet. Okay, that is primates. Under family, they are hominids. Hominites. Hominites. Hominites are primates with relatively flat space and three dimension version. Under genus, okay, they belong to Homo. Hormones are humanoid with upright posture and large brain. That is genus. And the last one is species. They are homo sapiens. Homo sapiens. Is it how it, I supposed to pronounce it? Homo sapiens. These are genus with higher porrate head, high porrate head, and thin, thin skull bone. These are genus with higher porrate head and thin skull bones. So as you can see here, this is how it is growing increasing or decreasing from kingdom to phylum and sometimes there is subphylum or superphylum and class order family genus this is human being as you can see here now i it is imprinted i make it in italic that is homo sepen so we are going to talk about the next one that is kingdom okay lazandota lazandota elephant 
this is an African elephant and it is um, a natural name or I say a botanical name is Lozondota elephant an elephant that is normal elephant African elephant I'm talking about African elephant they belong to kingdom number one that is Animalia and it is all animal and Pilo they belong to Chodata animal with not a god and sub Pilo they are about to bread as you can see here it has a relationship with all animal but on that class okay on that class they are still mammalian with hair and milk gland but under under order okay the difference in under order um they are probiscidia probis probiscidia order okay elephant is under order under class of order is probiscidia these are large uh, largest animal with long flexible trunks elongated nose that is that is the, the, the family of that they have a long elongated nose and family elephant is under african elephant is elephant tendi elephant tendi elephant tendi how it is supposed to pronounce these are elephant found in asian and africa okay and then the next one is genus genus they belong to lesondota in african african elephant in africa lesondota are elephant in africa that have both sex and trunks large air two fingers and lips at the end of the trunks then the next one is species species this is an african elephant africana they belong to africana it's a species that is africana africana elephant okay so as you can see here this is a typical note of about african elephant kingdom phylum subphylum orders kingdom they belong to animalia phylum to data subphylum vertebrate class and mammalian order they belong to Pobesida, family, they belong to Elephante, genus, they belong to Lozondota, and species, they belong to Africana. And the botanical name, or the natural name, is Lozodonta elephant. And the next one we're going to talk about is Mace, that is Z Mace, that is normal Mace, as you can see here, Mace. They belong to Kingdom Plants, Plantae, this is all plants. They vision, they, belong, they have division, the the, or I say Pylum. They belong to Trachopita. We are going to talk about Trachopita very soon. And they have superclass. They belong to superclass of Spermatopita. These are seeds producing plants. They produce seed. And the class subclass, okay? The class, they belong to Angiospan, that is flowering plant. And subclass, they belong to flowering plant that have one seed, that is a monocotyledium, monocotyledium, as you can see here. So, they have super class under division that is supermatopita and class is angiospan and subclass is monocotyledon under order they are graminals lips with shelting live based on influence of spicates family they are graminaceae graminaceae example cereal miller and bamboos and genus the Z. okay the generic name of that they are belong to z plants maize plant female employers and develop into crop species they belong to maize a cultivated maize plant that is maize so this is a typical example of biological nomenclature of some living organisms we start from homo sapien that is human being lozondota elephant that is african elephant and also z maize that is maize so classification of organisms into kingdoms in our next video, we will talk about the classification of living organisms into kingdoms. Thank you for watching. Do have a nice day. Don't forget to subscribe for more excited videos. Bye.